Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemon After Patrick, back at it again, bringing you kind of a tutorial kind of video today. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to grow your fan base on YouTube. So if you guys are here from, like, just searching me on the web and you happen to find this video, welcome to my channel. I am Lemon After, um, I, and I hope to teach you guys some good ways on how to get yourself to 100 subscribers to even 1,000 subscribers. So right now I'm at like 162 or 63 subs. So and I'm still growing as it is. So and I can't thank it enough without you guys. So and that's how you start off. So basically, what, the first step of starting your own YouTube channel is is coming up with a proper name that someone else does not have. Like mine, like Lemon Raptor. If you search that up now, like no one would have it. I mean, there's some other guys out there that have the channel, but my channel is the first one that'll pop up. So, with picking that name, you don't want any random numbers or, like, anything that's hard to remember. Like, you want it to be short and sweet. Something like PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye, Vanoss Gaming, mine, for instance, The Havoc. So, people like that. You don't, but, and also, you don't want to have the same name that someone already has because we already have one of those YouTubers. We don't need any more of them. And also, you guys are probably thinking right now that why should I care about what you're saying? Well, it's because I've had a lot of experience on YouTube, even though this is like my fifth channel. When I first started out on YouTube three years ago, I've had many channels. Um, what I would do is I would record with my phone, which, if that's all you have, then record with your phone. But, yeah, until you can afford all this equipment, like what I have now, you need to be able to record and get your videos out, and the equipment and stuff will come. But, anyway, so for... For your name and how you're gonna get searched, you're gonna wanna in your channel settings. There should be like a key channel keywords area. That's how people are gonna find you. You have to put your channel name and where and wherever else you want people to see you. So that's that. So now getting on to the main parts of like your equipment. So first things first, if you're gonna be doing console gameplay, you're gonna want a like an Elgato game capture card or a um, Roxio or whatever game card that you can afford. Um, Elgato's usually cost around like 180 bucks. Usually, it depends on which one you're getting. Like, it, whether you have the HE or the HE60. I have the HE60 and it works just as good for me. But I'd rather have the HE60. But I mean, the HE does get the job done. Um, now for your mic, you're gonna want to get a good quality microphone. You could use Turtle Beaches. I don't recommend using them like 24/7. I would get like a Blue Snowball or a Blue Yeti. Those are like the best microphones out there. That's what I'm using right now is the Blue Snowball. And you guys can tell that my voice is a lot clearer compared to a lot of other YouTubers that when they first start out. Uh, and that's that. So then, for your if you're gonna do face cams with for videos, then what you're gonna want to get is you're gonna want to get not use your computer webcam. Because the quality on them is usually really bad, so if I if I were you, I would recommend going with a Logitech uh, C920 or C615. So I use the C615, but that, that's my personal recommendation. Um, so now getting on to headphones. So if you're gonna use any headphones, use um, razors or turtle beaches, but don't use the microphone unless you don't have a desktop mic. So I mean, you want something that's gonna be able that can't be heard through your mic through your desktop mic and it doesn't like retract audio alright so for if you're gonna do PC gameplay w you're gonna need to get a good screen capture card so what I recommend is getting either Fraps um, or Marilla's Action I have both of them they both do, do very well for me um, so yeah and for also you guys are gonna want a good uh, photo editing software like Photoshop or GIMP uh, you could use paint on that. Don't really recommend it though, cause the like you're only limited to what you have on that. For your editing software, for your video editing, you're gonna want to use Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, or Adobe After Effects. You could use Movie Maker, um, but yeah, you can't do much with Movie Maker. For YouTube, like when I first started out, I was using Movie Maker. It wasn't really doing the job. So as as I got bigger and how I learned more about YouTube, I started to use Sony Vegas. And it's helped me out a lot in the long run. There are videos that you can find out, like, that can get you stuff for free. Although, I did pay for mine, so, uh, you just need to figure out what you're gonna do if you're gonna start YouTube. 
Um, without Sony Vegas, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't have the quality videos that I did ha do. So, I mean, I can't thank myself enough for actually learning more about this. Okay, so now what you're going to need after that is you're going to need some games to play. Because obviously, you're going to want good quality videos, and now that you have all your equipment, you're going to want good quality videos. So, like, play something that people are going to want to watch. Like, maybe Black Ops, Grand Theft Auto, Skate 3, uh, Amnesia is a good one. That's I do Amnesia. Haven't played it in, like, this weekend, though, but I'm planning to do it. Um, you're going to want to play, like, something that people watch. Like, people will search up Happy Wheels, for instance. The Impossible Quiz, Bean Boozled Challenge, even. Like, you're going to want to do a lot of stuff on your channel that people are going to come back for more. Keep them on their toes. Like, don't do, like, uh, one, one week of Happy Wheels. Don't do one week of GTA. Mix up your videos throughout the week. Like, for me, like... What I learned is have a, to have a consistent upload schedule. See, for me, it's easier for me to record on Tuesday thir or upload Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sometimes I can't get out on fr Friday because I'm like I have school because I'm studying. But like, yeah, try to maintain a consistent upload schedule. Like, make sure people are gonna st stick around for your videos because if they if they come up and see your channel and they really like what they see. And but you only post like once a month, then they're not gonna subscribe to you. They're not gonna see what you're doing that is true. See, for me, like I would post like maybe like for when I first started out on Lemonopter, I would post like once a week maybe, and people were always asking me to do more videos. But like I never listened until until like after I gained uh, more subs, and then I started interacting better with my subscribers. So I learned more about. What I'm doing, hold on, let me get comfortable on my couch here, because I'm very uncomfortable. So, and then, with that being said, when you're playing, when you're doing a video, and you're, and you're not interacting with your video, with your subscribers, and your quality is terrible, they're not gonna come back for more videos. That's why I recommend you guys do series, like, like, think of it as a TV series, like, when you play, when you go on YouTube and you're lo looking at a TV series, or not YouTube, when you're on TV and you're watching something, like Spongebob for instance, and you really like that first episode, it's going to make you want to come back for more. So basically what that means is that when you make your own YouTube on your series, if your first episode is like flawless, people are going to come back for more and enjoy that series, and you're going to have a lot more views. Now that also will bring us into the roller coaster effect on YouTube. So. The roller coaster effect is that you will have like up months, like you'll have good months, and then you'll have like really bad months. Basically, what that means is that like it drops and it goes up, like it's like a roller coaster. So, and then you're gonna have twists and turns as well as you like transition, like like haters and all that. Th those are the twists and turns. Like you have to reply to people's comments. You have to make sure that your subscribers are engaged in your video. Like, right now, like, I'm kind of talking, like, at a million miles a minute, because I'm trying to do this within 12 minutes, so, or even, like, a little bit more time, so, just keep this in mind, guys. When you guys are making your videos, remember to make the best quality you can. If you guys are making good quality videos, and the first video they see is terrible, they're not going to come back, and they will not subscribe. Even, even if you beg them to subscribe, they're not going to do it. So that's where that's going to come in. Now, as far as coming into interacting with your subscribers, I mean, anytime you get a comment, or, I mean, you should reply to it. Unless, like, you know, like, a Q&A is coming up and they're asking you questions, then that that's the only excuse not to answer your subscribers. I mean, haters, you kind of don't want to answer because then they'll just, like, piss you off more. So, like, leave the haters as they are. Like, if they hate on your video, remove it from your channel, and, yeah, you're done. I mean, but as you start learning more about YouTube, like as you start editing your videos, I mean, you need to record with what you have now. You need to get your videos out. Like, for me, when I hit 100 subscribers, like, about a month ago, um, I've been gaining, I've gained 63 subs in the past two months or, like, month or two. And I've been, I've just learned that you need to make the best videos you can. Like, if you notice me, I try to be myself. Like, you gotta be creative as a YouTuber. Like, you don't want to be, like, acting like PewDiePie, like, like, saying, Hello, people, my name is PewDiePie, or something like that. Or you don't want to be like, Step of the morning to you, ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to have, like, your own kind of personality, not like mine. Like, yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemonopter, Patrick, back at it again. Like, that's my thing. 
So you want to come up with something that will engage your subscribers and make them want to go. And also, you're going to want to have good channel art and good thumbnails. That's the one of the last steps. If you don't have good a good logo or a good channel art, nobody is going to like you. Like, like I have a good logo. I, I think my logo is really good, but it could still use a lot of work. So, like, my banner. I mean, that's a great banner. But, like, some people who make banners that, like, kind of tell them, yeah, like, what my name is and just have like rant like if you take if you go back to my I react to old videos um I will leave that in the description below so you guys can go see what my old channel was like that channel was so bad it was just like the most terrible terrible thing I've ever done in life so and that was three years ago and this is uh today so if you guys look at my channel today and compare it back then you guys will see a big difference and that's how you should transition on YouTube until you can afford the equipment that you need, record with what you have and edit what you, with what you have. If you don't have the money to pay for Sony Vegas or you don't know how, what you're doing, then use Movie Maker. Like, it's the best thing you can use. If that's the only thing you've got, then use it. Use it to your advantage. So now getting onto the search bar is one of the most important key factors of a YouTuber. So basically when you're using your tags and your titles, like, you're gonna wanna attract your viewers' attention, like saying, oh, like, um, Happy Wheels, Funny Moments, th Episode 3, or Let's Play Mario Number 1. Like, nobody's gonna find your videos, they're not gonna care, especially if you don't have a thumbnail. If you don't have a thumbnail, nobody is going to l watch your video. You want something that's gonna stand out. And that's what's gonna attract viewers. Also, with that being said, you wanna have a a when pre when people comment and th there's new viewers always reply to their comments like say that way that will encourage them to watch more the eh, the comment if you want if you want more subscribers and you don't do sub for sub if you do sub for sub i mean yeah it it'll gain you subscribers but it won't do you very like any good so with that being said now that's all you have to do. Like, you just have to, like, make sure your tags are on, like, anyone else. Like, someone does Black Ops 3. You're gonna wanna do something else, like, COD, Black Ops 3, crazy, crazy fun. Or, like, maybe something like Amnesia, the, the worst jump scare ever, like, the scariest. Like, that's, that ties into your, uh, to your title. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will pop, I, if you guys need more tips and what I need to know, uh, please let me know in the comment section below, or and also, if you enjoyed this video, claw that like button, and fight that subscribe button like a champion for almost um, weekly videos of, like, all this great stuff. Thank you guys again for watching, I hope to see you guys comment down below, and I hope to see you all again next time. Peace!